it appears that Tua Tungavailoa will be back behind center for Miami. The Dolphins quarterback is expected to be back in as the starter today, assuming all goes well in warm-ups, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rapoport. In anticipation of being back in the lineup, Tunga Vailoa took most of the first team reps this week. Tunga Vailoa suffered the thumb injury to his throwing hand in practice on November. 25 and missed last week's game against the New York Jets. Ryan Fitzpatrick got the start and led Miami to the 20-3 win. The Dolphins are 3-1 in Tunga Vailoa's four starts. The rookie out of Alabama has passed for 602 yards and six touchdowns this season. Miami, 7-4, plays host to the Cincinnati Bengals. 2 8 1 at 1 p.m. ET. Other injury news we are keeping an eye on ahead of Sunday's Week 13 games. Atlanta Falcons wideout Julio Jones, still dealing with a hamstring injury, is expected to play today against the New Orleans Saints, a source tells Rapoport. Jones had told reporters on Friday that he was feeling really good. The team is similarly optimistic about running back Todd Gurley, knee. Chicago Bears wide receiver Allen Robinson, listed as questionable with a knee injury, is expected to play against the Detroit Lions. Quarterback Nick Foles, hip, is questionable but HES expected to be the backup, per Rapoport. Denver Broncos running back Philip Lindsay is expected to play despite a knee injury and the same goes for wide receiver Jerry Judy, ankle, against the Kansas City Chiefs, Rapoport reports. Chiefs running back Clyde edwards heller dealing with the flu, not COVID-19, was feeling much better late Saturday than he did all week, per Rapoport. The team is hopeful he can play today, but they want to see how he feels when he arrives at the stadium. New England Patriots quarterback Cam Newton, abdomen, is listed as questionable, but a source tells Rapoport he took nearly all of the first team reps this week and is expected to play today against the Los Angeles Chargers. Seattle Seahawks running back Carlos Hyde is listed as questionable with a toe injury, but head coach Pete Carroll said on Friday that Hyde is good to go.